Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm just gonna do like a chill get ready with me, I guess. I'm gonna use some products that are in my project pan and in my shop my stash and just, I don't know, talk to you about them, I guess. <laughs> um, I actually am like literally getting ready. I'm like, these are my pajamas, so. Yeah, so I'm at the point in my shop my stash where I've used almost everything and it's just like those few things left that I need more thoughts on before I can like give you a review or any kind of idea about. So I guess I'll just show you briefly what those products are. Um, so for the primer, I'm going to use the Ciate London Watermelon Burst hydrating primer. I think I only used this twice so far and I think it was so good. Like I don't, I don't know. I don't really have like a full idea about this which is why I'm going to use it in this video. Um, for my foundation, well this one I've used a lot because it's the foundation in my project pan. It's the Tarte Hybrid whatever, hybrid gel foundation. It doesn't exist anymore, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. But I have some pretty good use on this. It's just like, I don't know, it feels like there's a lot of product in here, but I'm pretty sure it's just a standard amount. Yeah, one ounce. It just looks like a lot in this packaging. This foundation I don't normally use like just for what I'm doing today, which is just going to eat brunch at my mom's. <laughs> but I just want to get more use out of it. Um, for my concealer, I'm going to use the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. I don't believe this is complete coverage. I find it... It does look hydrating under the eyes, but it doesn't give like any coverage for what I... From what I've experienced because um, I have like you can see because I just woke up not too long ago <laughs> but like this uh, I don't even know what to call that I don't know it goes like inwards and it kind of like accentuates that because it looks so dewy under the eye so I don't know if I really like this um, but I did notice like it doesn't crease too badly, which I thought it might since it's a serum concealer. But I think I do prefer my Tarte Aqua Sealer over this one, which kind of sucks because this is discontinued, I'm pretty sure. Um, then for my powder products, I've been using way too many creams because it's summer and I just, I don't know, they're trending right now, I guess. So I want to focus more on some powders. I'm gonna use my Alamar Cosmetics Colorette Blush Trio in medium tan. This one looks really pretty. And just to get more use out of my butter bronzer, which is in my project pan, this is the shade bronzer. And I actually have worn down the pattern. Well, <laughs> the thing is when you look from it, when you look down on it, it looks really worn out, but if I like shift it, you can still see, but I don't know. I don't know how, like if I'll have, uh, if I'll be able to keep this around enough to actually pan it because it already has like some hard pan and yeah, we'll see if it lasts. For my highlighter, I'm going to use my Laura Geller Gilded Honey because I've only used it, I think, once before. I think this looks like extremely similar to Becca Opal, which is the highlighter in my project pan. So I guess I didn't really need this, but I did get it in a boxy pop-up for like five or six dollars. Um, for my eyeshadow, I'm going to use my BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette because it's the only eyeshadow palette in my shot my stash that I haven't used yet. I have used the highlighter 
And this is actually a really nice highlighter for the face and I wasn't expecting it because it looks kind of like powdery when you look at it in the pan but it's really nice on the face so um, I do have a video using this palette from like way back so I can link that below if you want to see my first impressions. I remember really liking it, I just haven't used enough shades to really have a full thought. Oh, and for lips, um, I think it's time to finally get more use out of this little Dior sample because I haven't touched these two shades. Um, it's the Stellar Shine in Pink Meteor and the Stellar Halo Shine in Pink Star. So I might use that. Um, the only one I have used is the Stellar Gloss in the shade Mirrored. I remember liking it. Just like a nude gloss with like shimmer in it. I think I mentioned everything. Yeah, the only thing I didn't mention is my Tatcha under light and eye treatment. I just call it the pearl. Although, yeah, I was gonna say, why do I call it that? Because it doesn't say it anywhere. It says it right here. Because I don't think I've ever actually applied this on camera, but you have seen it in my project pan if you watch those videos. So this is what it's looking like, spoiler alert. <laughs> uh, it, it looks the same, to be honest. But I'll show you why. This will probably never <laughs> be done um, because what I do is, I mean, the only option is to put my finger in it and it's kind of like I have to be careful because you only are supposed to use a rice grain amount at a time. So I kind of get like this much. That's even maybe a lot. Um, and I'll try to be in frame and then I just like pat it on like this but um, if you keep patting it like it doesn't blend in if you can tell so you have to at some point once it's like where you want it you have to start like swiping it so it's just like kind of finicky but I have noticed like this is actually, I actually really like this product now, <laughs> which is interesting because before I put it in my project pan, like the only reason I put it in my project was because I knew that I wasn't using it and it cost $60 and I was like, I need to use that every time I do my makeup. And now like, so here's the difference. It's not much because it's not a concealer. It's an under eye treatment but it's supposed to like brighten and I think it does just that and I have noticed I always like my under eye better when I had put that on first so yeah I've actually grown to really like this product so I'm happy that I put it in my project it's just like you use such a tiny amount <laughs> at a time and I feel like I haven't made any progress. Like it's still at the same level, but maybe it's not. Anyway, there's that. So now I have it on both eyes. I don't know if you can see a difference, but I just feel like it looks a bit more brighter underneath. So now I'm gonna use this primer. So it's like a jelly and it has like these little balls in it, which I believe they say is like supposed to be watermelon i don't know it doesn't say anything on the packaging i would have to like read it on sephora but um i think this is actually hydrating at least it feels like it is because sometimes gels just kind of like absorb into my skin but this one like i can feel the hydratingness of it of course it's not like a smoothing primer or anything it doesn't claim to like make your makeup last longer but that those aren't things I look for in primer anyway I just want my skin to look less dry so <laughs> and yesterday I did my makeup and I used my 
Umbertint Physical Daily Defense from Drunk Elephant. It's SPF 30. I use this as a primer and it did not look good at all at the end of the day. My skin was all like flaky. So I don't know if it was the combination of this with the foundation I used, which was my Makeup Forever Reboot. I think it was because I've been actually really liking this again. Well, not again, because I didn't like it the first time I used it. You can watch that video. Um, but I did use it like two or three times so far since it's been in my Shop My Stash. And I just use one pump of it and I really like it. And I was mentioning like when I added this product to my project. No, not my project pan. <laughs> It's getting confusing because my project pan items are in the same container as my shot my stash so I sometimes mess those up but this is not in my project pan it's in my shot my stash but yeah since I've added it to my shot my stash I've used it I think three maybe even four times and I've liked it every time except for when I used them these two together so that leads me to believe this is not enough as a primer. But then at the same time, if I don't use it as a primer and just as SPF, I have to use another primer. So then by the time I get to my makeup, I'm already gonna have like four products on my face. If I count like my serum, my, um, my, serum, my moisturizer, then this, then a primer. So I don't know, guys. Okay. I'm just trying to use this up because it's probably expired honestly and it's probably not even SPF anymore but it still has like a glowy effect but I don't think I like it as a primer so that's the story on those two but anyway today we are using the Tarte foundation what I do is I just put my sponge right in the product which I guess is not that hygienic but I mean it's only me that's using it so <laughs> I look very dewy and that is because of the primer for sure because this foundation is not dewy it's actually one of the more matte foundations in my collection but look at this yeah that's the primer and i i did use two pumps of it i think when i used it before i only used one pump so that might be the reason because I felt like yesterday my skin was so dry um, and that's my fault because I haven't been doing my skincare consistently so that's what it looks like I really like it I think I will just spot conceal um, because something is happening here <laughs> it's like very red so, <clears throat> I'm just going to use my usual Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Concealer. Just maybe here too. Okay, so now for my concealer. So I normally just put like a dot here and a dot here to start. So there's one I done. You can see what I mean, like, I guess it kind of evens out the color under my eyes, but it doesn't like cover anything, I feel. I don't know. But I will say today it does look better with the Tatcha 
underneath that's for sure and this is like super liquidy like you can see there's product like all over the wand so I kind of like wipe off the excess before I apply it because probably if you used too much of this it would start to crease just because of the like fluidity of it so like <laughs> my under eye looks super dewy and like I guess a bit brighter but you can still see like some discoloration and like especially in here where it's more like purple <clears throat> so yeah if you well I was gonna say if you like this consistency the, the Tarte Aqua Sealer is better but this is discontinued I'm pretty sure it's still I think I can still find a link to it for the Tarte Cosmetics website, but it's not on Sephora anymore, if I remember correctly. I guess that's it for cream products. Yeah. Now I'm gonna do my butter bronzer. I feel like this bronzer is a bit too light for summer for me. Um, I find I like something more like with a red undertone in the summer and I like glowy bronzer in the summer and this is more like this is more like a satin finish but it still gives me some color so for days like where I'm not doing anything it's not too much you now for the blush which I'm the most excited about in this whole video <laughs> think what am I want to do I think I'm gonna use the middle shade because it looks like I've already used um, this peachy shade seclusion so I think I'm gonna use Isla um, yeah it looks kind of like a shimmery like well not shimmery like a glowy coral kind of blush I don't remember anything about these but it looks like I got a lot of pigment on the brush this probably wasn't the best brush to use for blush it doesn't have a name it's by crown brushes but it's probably more like a powder brush you know like it's too fluffy oh yeah so I got a lot more product <laughs> on that side let me just switch over. That's a nice shade. It's a nice summery blush, which is why I put it in my shot my stash because this just screams like everything summer to me. All these shades. Still think I have a maybe a bit more <laughs> on this side, so let me just try and even that out. I think it is providing a glow also, which I like in a blush. I'm just gonna go over that. Sorry, I moved everything with my sponge. Yeah, I really like that. It doesn't look like too powdery or it really like meshed in with everything else on my face so I like that and for this highlighter so when I don't want too much highlighter on I use like a really flimsy fan brush so that it doesn't like apply it too like too much in one area if you know what I mean so let's try this again I'm a bit like careful because there's a crack in this. There's actually a crack in my opal as well. So I'm kind of scared like the whole thing's just gonna fall apart. And then what do I do? <laughs> Cause it's in my project pan. Do I have to repress it? I don't know. But I probably need to stop using that as my travel highlighter cause it's clearly too soft 
for those purposes. Yeah, I think this is a bit more gold than opal. Opal's more like a champagne, I think. And this one, like, I can see the gold shift. So yeah, I probably can't get away with this shade in the winter. Like it would just be too obviously there. But in the summer, it does have like a nice effect. Um, especially if I had a deeper bronzer on though. <laughs> yeah, you can always see it better on this side where the window is. It's also extremely hot in here. <laughs> I closed the window um, because there was just too much noise outside, like planes going by and like birds and stuff. So now I'm like sweating also, which is probably why I look like this. Okay, I like how that looks. See, if you have a nice formula of a powder product, it can still look like a cream. It's just some powders are too powdery. You know what I mean? Like, like you can see the sharp contrast of where you put a powder and where like you haven't. But these products are all just kind of meshing well together, which I like. <clears throat> and I think it helped that I put two pumps of this primer on because that definitely gave me like a nice dewy base to work on. I'm gonna start working on my eyeshadow now. But first, let me put my primer on. This is my primer potion, as usual. This is in my project pan. And it's probably gonna be there forever. <laughs> okay, so what do I wanna do? There's like so many ways you can go with this. I can't even, it's so big I can't get my face and the palette in frame, but yeah, you can do a blue look, a pink look, a neutral look, a brighter like fuchsia. Obviously use the Scorpio section already because that's my sign. Um, yeah, if you didn't know, this palette is like, well, this is the second Zodiac palette from Beach Cosmetics. Um, so the whole thing is like, there's, it's divided by sign. Um, this one's called Love Signs, but it's the same thing. It's just different color story. Should probably try and do something that will match with my face. And I'm kind of leaning towards this section. This is the Virgo section. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. But I'm also gonna use the Leo transition shade here. So I'll start on that one. Oh, as per usual, I haven't cleaned my brushes yet. So as long as there's no like blue on them, then I'll just wipe off on my tissue here. So going in with the Leo Matte shade, which I have used before. <laughs> it's like a nice warm, tan shade, I guess. Normally I would go something a bit lighter for my first transition shade, but there actually isn't much, many light um, mattes in this palette. The only one is the one in the Scorpio, but it's like a pink. So I normally don't, like a very, small tint of pink. It's almost like a cream shade, but I don't use that as a transition normally. So yeah, this is like the next option. So I'm just gonna do one eye on camera as usual to save time. So then with the um, Virgo shade, which is a bit deeper, I'm gonna focus that in the crease. I haven't used the shade yet. This palette is just so big, like, um, yeah, it's kind of hard to use 
on camera, but I guess like for normal people that don't film themselves doing makeup, it's fine. <laughs> Ooh, that's... Um, that's a lot of pigmentation. I don't want to do anything too much today. I mean, it doesn't matter because only my mom and my stepdad will see it. But, <laughs> wow, yeah, that is a nice shade. Okay, I don't want to do, I want to like blow that out too much. So then on the lid, I'm going to go in with the Virgo uh, metallic shade. Um, I think I'm going to use my finger to start. My nails are getting super long, so I can't really do much like as for details, but I kind of just like to pat it on the center. That is super pretty. That's like a peach. Yeah, it's a peachy metallic shade. These are like baked formulas, if you couldn't tell. Like, you know when it's like a dome and they feel very powdery and you're like, that's not going to work, but it, it always does. It's that kind of formula. So then just to get like in the inner corner, I need a brush because my nails are just too long. That goes on really nice with the brush too. And these are, like I'm using this dry, obviously. Yeah, I do really like this palette, especially since it's like a drugstore price. The only thing is BH Cosmetics, I don't know where in Canada you can get it. I found this at Urban Outfitters, actually. I think it was like $16, which is pretty good because I think if you order from the BH Cosmetics website, it's a US website if I'm not mistaken. So you'd have to pay like the conversion and everything. Um, but yeah, I don't know where they sell BH Cosmetics. I can't think of anywhere. So that kind of sucks because I would like to have more BH Cosmetics palettes. I do know that I have seen them at like Winners and Marshalls, but it's always like the really old palettes that are like discontinued. So yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure this is discontinued too. I think it was limited edition, but I mean, I'm not going to get rid of it, so I really like that a lot. And that was so like easy to do, just for like my own preferences, I just like to go back in and kind of go over everything in the crease, just so that it's, it looks like it's all, you know, together. I think I'm just going to leave it like that, for the top anyway. Um, for the bottom, I think I'm just going to do the Leo shade, just all across. Well, not like in the inner corner, mostly on the outside here. Yeah. Because if I use the other shade, it's going to be too dark for what I'm going for today. Um, but I do want to put the highlighter on my inner corner, the big one in the middle here. Like, look at that. Can you even see? Maybe I should zoom you in. <laughs> like, see how nice that is? And that's just dry. Like, I have shades in really high-end, expensive palettes that don't look like that. Then any excess, I'll just put on my brow bone. Nice. Yeah, so maybe if I was going out, which I don't go anywhere, but if I was, like, at night, I would deepen up the outer corner with something. Maybe, like, um, the Libra shade here. But that's more like going to take it to a purple area or yeah, even maybe this Pisces shade, this one. But I think for today I'm just going to leave it like that. 
So I'm gonna do the other eye and then I'll be back to finish everything. Okay, I'm back. So I did the other eye and obviously mascara and brows because I always use the same things, the Maybelline Sky High, the Essence Make Me Brow and the Milk Kush Clear Brow Gel because those are the products in my project pan. I also have this eyeliner in my project pan. It's the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Lucky and I think it would go really nice with the eye look I did today so I'm gonna use that on my waterline. Just like a really nice copper shade. It does like deepen the look a bit but I just really like it. And this eye pencil is so old and it still works. And I also have another Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in my shot my stash. This one is the shade Jolt. And I was really excited about it because it's like lime green. Looks like this. Um, but the thing is, because these pencils I put on my waterline and because my waterline is like red most of the time, this doesn't go on this shade of green. It goes on kind of like, I don't know how to describe it. It's just like a weird, like if you mix green and red, but still see the green a bit. I don't know. So unfortunately, it doesn't look this shade on my eye, but maybe if I used it, maybe if I put like a nude liner down first and then this, it would show up better. Um, but I also haven't tried it yet, like on my actual lid. So I could do that or my inner corner might be nice too. So I'll have to keep using that. The other eyeliner, gel liner in my shop my stash I'm actually gonna have to get rid of because it's so dry um, it's the Marc Jacobs eyeliner gel eye crayon in the shade Rococo and I'm really sad because it's like a really nice like metallic like a rich brown kind of but it doesn't stick to my waterline because it's so dry. But when I put it like on my hand like this, you can see it. So I'm gonna try and use it again, like on the top lid. Maybe it's like a smoky liner or something. But if it doesn't work, fortunately this is done. The good thing is that I got that in a Sephora favorite set. So <clears throat> I didn't pay like full price for it, but still. It sucks because I've only used it like two or three times and it also does not come off like look I'm rubbing super hard Ugh. so yeah I guess I'll zoom you back out now um, lips right well first we'll do my setting spray I like to do that before. I'm using the Iconic London Prep Set Glow. I think this is original. Doesn't say anything. Oh yeah, Water Mist Original. Um, this is like a really pretty shimmery setting spray. I can't remember the sprayer on this, so I'm gonna hold it far away and see what happens. <laughs> okay. Ooh, that's actually a nice mist um, that doesn't like squirt out right at me. So yeah, I like that. Uh, I'll just wait for it to dry because right now it looks a little crazy. It has like a strong scent though, so if you don't like strong scents, I don't know if you'll like this. Um, 
but I don't mind. I think I still prefer my Mac Fix Plus, but yeah. So I want to try and use one of these shades that I haven't used yet and I think it's going to go with this look because my blush is more like pink so yeah I think I just want to use the Stellar Shine this one here the one that doesn't have like a sparkly middle shade I hope this is still usable so I've had this sample for quite a while. It came with a little brush. So I'm going to use that. Oh yeah, it's still like nice and creamy. This might be very pigmented. I'm scared. Oh yeah. It's like a nice berry tone. I don't know if it goes, <laughs> doesn't really go with this look. And this is not really a shade I'd wear like in the daytime, but it feels really nice. Um, light on the lips, like it's not sticky. It feels like a lip balm, to be honest. So that's the Dior Stellar Shine in the shade Pink Meteor. I'm not even sure what those look like in the full size. So let me, I'm, I'm curious now, so I'm gonna look it up. Probably super overpriced, because it's Dior, so. It might not even exist anymore. <gasps> $48. So that's what that product looks like in the full size. So it is like a lip balm, like a tinted lip balm kind of product, I feel. Um, and the shade is described as a rosewood. Yeah, I think that's very accurate. So some of them have like glitter in them and some of them are like just think called satin no they're all satin finish yeah but some are glittery and some are just like this one that actually feels really nice maybe if like these ever went on sale <laughs> I would consider picking some up but all the shades are like pretty bright if you can see there so yes at least I mean this sample is gonna last me forever like, I, that's how much I used. And there's still, like, this whole star filled with product. Plus this one, plus the other shade um, in the Stellar Gloss um, formula. So, this is a pretty good sample. So, I think that's it. Um, I feel like I forgot something. <laughs> But I don't know what it is. Um, but yeah, I really like how the Isla came out. It's like a nice peachy... Um, yeah, I don't know. Peachy. It's all peachy. Uh, I liked everything I used today. The only thing is the highlighter. If I do look at it closely... I don't know if you can see. Maybe you can't tell. But it's like very gold, like it's a very gold shift. I think it's fine like from head on, but in the light, very gold. So I think it's more suitable for like someone with a medium to like tan skin tone. For me, it's a little too deep. Um, but yeah, I can see why this is, this is like a cult classic on YouTube the Gilded Honey shade specifically. Um, but I can see like this formula becoming kind of outdated. I think there's a lot more highlighters on the market now that look more smooth, like even 
for a powder highlighter, you can get a more smooth looking one. And I do prefer the Becca over this one, but yeah, that's my thoughts on that. Everything else, I really like it. I really like the blush. And I like that you can still see it. I think that's a problem with cream blushes. I know they're like super trendy now and I really like them myself, but I feel like they don't stay on my face because I guess because I have dry skin, they kind of like the creaminess part of it kind of like gets absorbed and then the pigment just goes along with it, I guess. But yeah, I really like the blush. So I guess that's it. I don't know if this video was like helpful. <laughs> I think most of these products are uh, not available anymore maybe. <laughs> I think that's an issue for videos that focus on like using up older products is like yeah you, you do want to as someone that does like beauty videos on YouTube I do want to do less of like new 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 and everything like buy the newest thing but when i use older products i'm like do these even exist anymore like the makeup industry is just so quick to turn over these days so i don't know but i do i am someone that does not get rid of makeup until it's like expired or i just don't like it so I am going to continue to use old products that I have in my collection. So yeah, that's. I think it's fun to have my project pen and my shot my stash like on a rotation kind of thing. So you'll see more about that when I do my project pen update, which I think I have to do like soon. Um, that I have changed the rules again, <laughs> but you'll see more about that if that's something you like if that's the kind of content you like um subscribe if you haven't already but yeah that's it for today so give this video a like if you liked it and i'll see you in my next one bye